With Sean's parents, Pat and Dave, and my wife Terry, we'd all like to welcome you to this uh, wonderful evening tonight, and thank you for coming and making Sean and Kim's wedding a very special occasion. Um, as some of you might have known, Kim and her families have kind of a rough summer, uh, but with the thoughts and prayers of all our family and friends and our wonderful friends, uh, who most of you are with here tonight, uh, we've gotten through it and we move forward. And tonight is about celebration. So we do know, though, that Kim's grandmother and Aunt Denise are with us here in spirit. Um, and if I know them, like I think I do, I'm pretty sure Grandma is up, looking down, and she's got one of her special occasion Captain and Cokes in one hand. <laughs> and Aunt Denise has her ever-present Pepsi can with her. And I'm pretty sure Denise would probably be saying right about now, when the hell are you going to get this party started? <laughs> well, tonight truly is about celebration. And I've got a couple of words first for Sean and Kim. Kim, I've heard it said that when a girl is looking for a man, she's looking for someone very similar to her father. <laughs> when I look at Sean, quite honestly, I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> we are like twin sons of different mothers. I mean, look at the similarities for crying out loud. For one, Sean is six feet four inches tall. <laughs> I am six feet four inches tall in every one of my dreams. Sean is left-handed. I have a left hand. Sean's got this full head of wavy blonde hair. I have a head. Sean's favorite band, Nine Inch Nails. I love the Nine Inch Nails. I can't wait for the DJ to play Nine Inch Nails and I'm all over this dance floor. In fact, I think it's pretty obvious, Kim. You are marrying my doppelganger. <laughs> Kim, I gotta go a little Chris Farley on you right now, okay? So, Kim, do you remember back in June of 1985 when the Cubs were starting out on a 13-game losing streak to completely knock them out of the 1985 playoff situation? I drove your mom to the uh, hospital, and we gave birth to a beautiful little girl. That would be you. Do you remember that? That was so cool. It was so cool. And the doctor put you in my arms. And I looked at you, and you looked at me, and you smiled. That was so cool. That was so cool. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think you had gas, but you did smile. Right? Do you remember when that Trevian softball team asked you to play in that softball tournament? And you hit the game-winning home run, and as you crossed the plate with the winning run, I yelled out with pride, that's my girl! And I looked at you and I thought for sure you were gonna be mad or embarrassed, but you just looked at me and you smiled and that was so cool. Do you remember that? Yeah, I don't remember that. All right, well, do you remember playing at Augustana College, playing basketball? And I went to your game at North Central and I went in and you were struggling a little bit before that game and the bench, or the coach benched you and that might be one reason he's not invited here tonight. Uh, but he benched you, and as you were sitting on the bench, you were scoping out the crowd, and your eyes came upon me, and I saw you, and I stood up, and I raised a sign, and it said, PMA. And you knew what that mean. And you looked at me, and you smiled. And it was so cool. Do you remember that? That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, well, Kim, you can ask her later. What does it mean? Uh, Positive mental, mental attitude. attitude. And that's what we want all of you to have here tonight. PMA. But, um, Kim, all of these memories I got locked up here in my little peanut head. And they all remind me of what a beautiful little girl you were. And tonight, when I look at you, I see what a beautiful woman you are. And, Kim, one, one last thing. Do you remember? Do you remember? This is really cool, too. A couple of hours ago, when you were standing up on the altar, and you were holding hands with Sean, and he looked down at you, and you looked up at him, and you smiled. And I realized then that Sean and I share one more thing in common. He loves you very much, and I, I love you too. So Sean, we welcome you tonight, so proudly and gladly into our family, as I know your folks, welcome Kim. 
Tonight truly is a night of celebration. Let's get this party started. <laughs>